Previously on the channel, we installed Docker in a Proxmox LXC container with Turnkey Core, and that was with version 6.2 using Docker.io. Now we're going to be installing it on version 7.0 using a different method, and here's how. The first thing we'll do is make sure we select our Proxmox storage and download the turnkey core template. So let's click templates and we'll run a search for core. We'll hit enter on our keyboard. We will go ahead and select the turnkey core and download it. This will go ahead and download the template to your selected storage so you can use it in your LXE container. Once it's done, we can go ahead and close this out and you can see that the template is there in your storage. Now we can go ahead and create our container. Now we have to give our container a really awesome name. We're gonna call it Docker. Yep. Give it a super secret password here. So you're gonna type that in here and then you'll confirm it in the bottom one below. Keep in mind, this is the password you're going to be using to access this via the CLI. So don't forget that. Now we're going to choose the template from our storage. And on the next page, we will allocate some disk space for the container. Go ahead and assign a few CPU cores for the container. Give it a couple gigs of RAM. And as far as IP allocation goes, I'm gonna leave that up to the gateway. So I'll select DHCP and hit next. And I'll hit next one more time. We click finish to initialize the container. Let this run through. When that's done, you can go ahead and close this out. On the left side here, we will select our container and then we will choose options in the panel just to the right here. Now double click on features and we will tick key CTL and nesting, then click okay. Over here on the left side, go ahead and right click and start the container. And now we are ready to actually install Debian turnkey core onto this container. We do that by clicking on console and following the command prompts that come in after we log in. Don't forget, with Proxbox, it's always root and then the password you use when you set up the initialization. The first two prompts I always skip and then the third one will run the install. Go ahead and hit enter on that and let this install Debian onto the container. Once it's finished, press control C and we will run some updates on the system. We'll do an update and an upgrade to make sure that the system is up to date before we run the Docker installation. All right, let's go ahead and clear this out and get started installing Docker. With version six, we installed Docker using apt install docker.io. I know it's a lot easier, but no, you can't do that for version seven, so don't do that. This, this is what we're gonna use, install Docker engine on Debian. And I'll have all this on the homelab.wiki as well. So let's go ahead and grab the first command here since we already updated. We need to install these prerequisite packages. Let's go ahead and copy this. Back on our container console, we will right click and paste the content to run the command and install those packages. Go ahead and grab Docker's official GPG key. Copy this and go back over to our console and paste that in there. And I forgot to remove sudo, so let's go ahead and run that again. And this time I'll remove sudo because we're already logged in as root on Proxmox. We don't need sudo. We'll go ahead and add the stable repository for Docker. Let's go ahead and copy this. And we will copy it and head back over to our console where we will paste it in by right clicking again. That didn't work, but I'll fix it in a minute here. Now it looks like we have to update again. So let's go ahead and copy this and update the system here and paste that in here and update it. Now I noticed that my Docker repository didn't update. So I'll get to that in a second. I'll copy this and figure that out here momentarily that <laughs> when I copy this in and paste it in, this is actually installing Docker, but it, hmm, I'm like, hmm, okay, what, what's going on here? And then I realized finally that I forgot to remove sudo again from the repository. So go ahead and remove sudo. I'll have all of this stuff in the documentation so you can just copy it and we'll have to do that. So I re-added the repository. I'm gonna go ahead and do an update again. And finally, I can see the Docker uh, right here. I can see the Docker repository has been added. So I can go ahead and now run the install for Docker. So let's go ahead and up to that and install Docker finally on the system. I promise you, if you follow the guide on the homelab.wiki, it's not this difficult. This video actually 
kind of makes this look more difficult than it actually is, but it's not. It's just because I screwed up and forgot to remove sudo from a couple of the commands. But yeah, just go grab them off the homelab.wiki and you'll be all set. All right, Docker is now installed on the container. Let's go ahead and run a systemctl status Docker. Let's go ahead and check. It looks like it is up and running. We do have activity here. That's great. That's good. All right. Just to verify that this is up and running, I want to maybe install something. So let's go ahead and install Portainer. I'll hop over here to the homelab.wiki. I will click on install Docker and Portainer, and there is a snippet here I can copy. So I'll click that button and paste this in and run the command to install Portainer. All right, let's go ahead and find my IP by typing in IP space ADDR. It is up here. All right, there's my IP. I will copy that. Now I'm going to run it into a browser here on port 9000. So I'll paste that in and add port 9000. Well, I'll be darned, it worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I usually leave the username as admin. I'm just gonna put in my password and log in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Portainer working on an LXC container on Proxmox. This is exciting and this is on version 7.0. Yes, it's working, but I'm not quite convinced yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the system just to make sure that Docker still runs after I reboot because I've had some issues where it doesn't. So let's go ahead and verify that it does. Let's go ahead and check the status of Docker here. We do have activity. So what I wanna do is make sure that this is still working on Portainer. I'll refresh the page and log in. Let's go ahead and log in. There it is, you see it with your very own eyes. Docker working on Proxmox version seven. Let's go. I didn't have to do anything super crazy or technical to get it working. It's just a few extra more commands than running the Docker IO command, which was yes, much easier, but this is definitely easy as well, so I hope you guys found this video useful and you can finally get your LXC containers running uh, with Docker on Proxmox version 7. So if you did find this video useful, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and be sure to click that bell icon so you know when the videos drop on the channel. This guide will be over on the homelab.wiki. Check it out there as well. Thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for today. Bye for now.